Hi, this is Kyle with McGraw Hill, and in this short video, I'm going to walk you through some of the new navigational functionality that exists for SmartBook. So, if we click on the three horizontal lines, you'll see that an expanded menu will appear on the left hand side of the page, and we've got some options. So, first, you've got Leave Assignment. You'll click on this whenever you're ready to exit the SmartBook assignment. You can click on Assignments. This will allow you to see all of the chapters, when they're due, and where you're at. So are you past due, are you behind schedule, are you right on track? This will let you know. And you can actually click on any of these and open up that particular chapter. All right, we've got the preview tab. And while it's in a new place, this is the exact same preview that we're used to. So we're gonna get a quick insight into what we're about to study in this chapter. Um, so here I can see that I'm gonna spend way less time in the balance sheet than I am with assets, for example. And if you hover over, then this material will appear on the right-hand side of the page. All right, we expand again. We can go into Read. And Read is going to carry the same basic principles that you've experienced in your former SmartBook interface. Um, we've still got the capabilities to make the print larger or smaller. You can still toggle from one set of highlights to the next by clicking on the right arrow in the paintbrush or the left arrow in the paintbrush. If you'd like to just move linearly through the text, you can click on the right arrow and this will move page to page. You can still hover on the right hand side of the page to use the right and left arrows that appear on the side of the page when you put your cursor there. You can actually request the coach by clicking on the coach icon down here. Reading with SmartBook helps you put emphasis you can turn all of the highlights off by clicking the Turn Highlights Off icon. If you want to turn those back on, just click again. And this is a shortcut to jumping into the practice phase. You can also get to the practice phase by clicking on the Practice icon on the left-hand side menu. All right, so this is your standard SmartBook practice area. All right, next up we've got a direct link to recharge. I haven't proceeded far enough to warrant a recharge, so I'll just click OK. Student reports all live under the My Reports tab now, so you've got access to current learning status, which is going to allow you to do some time management planning. Topic scores let you see uh, which areas in chapters you've struggled with the most. Missed questions will show you a list of questions that you have missed and it's broken down chapter by chapter. It's a great way to study after you've completed your smart book assignment for a particular chapter. Most challenging learning objectives. This is going to let you know which areas of a particular chapter you struggled with. Self-assessment will let you know what percentage of the time you were accurate when you were rating your confidence before your answer. Then finally, tree of knowledge, which is going to allow you to see a visual representation of what you've learned thus far as you've been working in SmartBook. All right, so let's scroll down. And the final piece that's available on the navigational menu is a how to use SmartBook tutorial. So this gets pretty granular and it'll walk you through each of the major areas of SmartBook, including what is SmartBook, how do you read efficiently, how do you organize your learning, um, how do you track your progress and how do you finish your assignment? Spoiler alert, it's in the practice phase. But uh, that's all available here and I'll click on leave assignment to exit. I hope that you found this video helpful.